Good morning, Ranger Painters. This is Chris. Welcome to Cretoni Entertainment. Today we're going to be featuring a painting video for our first installment of Morphin Monday, Episode 1, Painting Z Putties. What we're going to do here today is we're going to do just a very basic every person paint job of the Z Putties from the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid game by Renegade Games. Uh, what we mean by an everyman paint project here is we're going to do some pretty simple techniques, some basic colors, nothing too fancy, something to get your putties on the table looking good from about three feet away, which is where you're normally going to view miniatures uh, at any given time. So we're going to call it three foot fabulous. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our Z putties here from Heroes of the Grid. We're going to get them all cleaned up. Let's move those out of the way. Grab our trusty hobby knife here. As you can see, mine has seen mm, some better days. The tip is broken off. The blade's not super sharp. But for what we're doing, that's going to be okay. We're going to grab our first Z-Putty here, and what we're looking for is mold lines. So we're going to examine the sides of the miniature. Uh, typically, you're going to see these on arms, heads, sides of legs. Basically, anywhere an injection plastic molding would come together uh, and leave a bit of excess plastic. And we want to get those cleaned off, or at least the more prominent ones. We're not shooting for every single one. These are basic foot soldiers. Uh, we're not really going to be focusing too much of them on the battlefield, but cleaning off some of the more prominent ones, like this one on the side of his shield here. Just going to take our knife, scrape that line slightly. It's going to go ahead and uh, make it easier to work with. So now that we've got that done, uh, we're going to take a look over. We're going to say, hey, do we have any really big ones here? Um, we still have one down the side of the leg on this particular Z-Putty, but again, not worried about it. Let's get painting. So we sent this guy away. He's outside now. Uh, we sprayed him down with this Rust-Oleum American Accents 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. I use the Ultra Matte, and I'm using the Perfect Gray for this project. Uh, you're going to see why as we get into certain types of paints as he comes back fully primed. So we bring him back inside, and you see he doesn't look drastically different, but he has been primed. Uh, this is going to allow other paints to stick to it. We're going to start with this Citadel Apothecary White from the Contrast line. So we're going to take this paint here. We're going to take our brush, and we're just going to slather this apothecary white all over this putty. Uh, I know it's looking kind of gray. I know we're getting it on his shield, his face, his legs, his boots, everything. We're not worried about that. All we're focused on right now is the jumpsuit part of the putty. We want this apothecary white to cover everything. And the unique properties of the contrast paint, it's more of a, more of a, a, a glaze than a paint. The thickest parts are going to flow into the recesses of the clothing. So you see right there where his legs meets his butt, uh, down by his knees, at the elbows. It's going to flow into there. It's going to make it darker down there. It's going to be brighter up top. And what we're going to get out of that is we're going to get some instant shading that's going to make this paint shop go a whole lot faster as it dries. Uh, so we're going to move into the next phase when it's fully dry. And you can see here that the color kind of changes. He looks a little more bright as it's dry. I'm going to pull out this Vallejo Game Color uh, dead white. This is one of my favorite whites out there. The Citadel whites just don't do what I want. So we're going to go ahead and slather down on a thick paintbrush. We're going to wipe off most of the paint on an older brush here. We're just going to take that and we're going to rub it on the model. Just, this is called dry brushing for those of you who don't know. For those of you who do, I apologize for kind of repeating things that you already know. But what's going to happen now is we're just barely touching the model with a brush that has almost no paint on it. Is The paint's going to stick to the highest points of this Z-Putty Patroller. So we're going to get those hints of white that we're all used to seeing from um, the Power Rangers TV show, but we're still going to maintain that darker, dirtier white um, and that gray kind of in the recesses. It's going to add a lot of texture to an otherwise smooth model, and we're going to let that dry. And don't worry, everyone, we're not going to forget about the red eyes. That was courtesy of my son. Uh, he wants to get involved as well. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next phase. We're going to get our Citadel layer Stormhost Silver. Uh, this is a very bright metallic. Um, if you go back and you look at the Z-Putties in the show, they have almost a metallic sheen to their chest pieces and their shoes, which look a whole lot more terrible in the show than they look on these minis. So we're going to grab a, a medium-sized brush. Um, and our goal is to put these on the boots, the knee pads, and the chest plate. Uh, so you'll notice in the game here, here is the grid, the Boots are actually full boots, whereas if you go back and watch the show, they look more like Nike sneakers, but the show was probably more low budget than this particular game is. Um, so the easiest way to do this is to kind of start at the top um, where, you know, on the leg here where the, the silver is going to meet the white. So that way you can be real careful and make like a line of paint and then everything below it, you can be a little more sloppy with, as you see, where I'm just kind of slathering the silver on it. We're not worried about any silver getting on the base of the miniature right now. Uh, all we are worried about is getting the silver 
on the boots and the chest piece. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to kind of talk about some other things uh, while we're working on that here. Uh, the Z putties were probably as a kid, these were my, my favorite Power Rangers bad guys. Uh, I don't know why it was something cool about the, the shield on the chest and the giant Z on them. Uh, and of course they came in in the episode with Perantis head where, you know, the dinosaurs got destroyed and it was like, oh man, this is, this is crazy right at the start of season two. Uh, so as a kid, Z putties were always one of my favorites. Um, I do enjoy facing them in the game as well. I consider them one of the weaker uh, foot soldiers. Uh, they're, you're certainly no Mastodon Trooper in power level, um, but they've got some obnoxious abilities. Um, overwhelm can be frightening. Uh, Self-destruct can cause a lot of damage if you're not really ready for it. Um, but Z putties still remain cool to this day. As an adult, I think I've kind of changed my mind. I think the original putties are probably my favorite henchmen at this point. Um, you know, I've been watching through the show again um, with my son. I think we started when he was four. He's six now. Um, we've watched through all three seasons of Mighty Morphin. We've watched Zio. We watched part of Turbo, but it was it was so awful. We we both agreed we had to skip to the end of it. Um, we're currently working on Power Rangers in Space now. Um, we're having a great time doing it. Uh, he also loves this game. Uh, he's he's fantastic at it. His favorite Ranger right now is probably Hyperforce Red uh, in the game. Uh, he loves the Iptus Claws, the ability to do a lot of damage, um, and he's a lot of fun to play with. Um, we, we do tone down the difficulty a little bit. Um, we, we add in some things, but for the most part, he's he plays by the rules, and he, he understands them well. Um, but every once in a while, we give him some special rerolls because, you know, he's he's six, and it's a family game. We play it together, my wife, my son, my family. Uh, it's really good times. So as we wrap up our silver here, we're going to get ready for our next color. Uh, so let's take a look at what he looks like now. So the silver doesn't have a whole lot of definition to it, um, so we want to we want to tack onto that. We want to add to the overall definition. So we're going to pull out um, this Citadel Contrast Basilicum Gray while that silver is fully drying, and we're going to work on his face and we're going to work on his gloves because the putty faces and gloves are always a darker shade uh, than the rest of them. So we're going to focus on that for a minute, and then we're going to come back to that silver. Uh, so once again, we're going to grab our medium brush here. We're going to just dip it straight in the Basilicum Gray, and we're just going to go ahead and just paint his face. Um, in the show, he has more of like a frontal face mask, and the back of his head is white. Uh, on the model, there's not really a clear differentiating line between those. So I just went ahead and painted his whole head this darker gray, because um, I think it just looks better in model form. And like we did with the Apothecary White, as you can see, we are literally just slathering on these areas. Uh, it's going to flow down into the recesses, make the recesses really dark. It's going to leave some lighter color up at the tips. It's going to do some instant shading for us. Um, if we were trying to do something more of a display piece or something that wasn't going to be used for everyday gaming, um, something maybe for like a war game where the miniatures are truly the showcase, whereas, you know, this game is great mechanics, I would do some additional highlights, maybe some dry brushing, some different shades of gray. Um, but again, we're doing just a basic everyman paint job. You don't have to be, you know, an air quotes pro painter to get this done. Um, and, you know, judging by my inability to keep the camera in focus, you apparently don't have to be a professional YouTuber to make a video about it. Um, hopefully as we go forward in the channel, um, I'll be able to acquire some new equipment, some new techniques. We'll have some better looking videos as we go, but we're going to go ahead and just continue slathering this on here. And, uh, you can see, um, what kind of, you know, what kind of coloration we're getting out of it while it's wet. You see it flowing down those really dark places in the middle. It's really going to come together nicely when it dries. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show this guy off here and say, Hey, look at this guy. We've kind of got it on. You can see, look at his, you know, just above his forehead, you can see on his left arm, all that shading is starting to take effect, and we're going to have some really good looking miniatures when we're done. Uh, so getting ready for the next step, um, we're going to pull out this Citadel Shade Nuln Oil. Um, this is what we're going back to the silver, now that the silver is more or less dry on. And we're just going to slather this um, on that chest piece and on those boots. And what it's going to do for us is it's even runnier than a contrast paint. So it's going to go in and give us some really good definition. Um, it's going to soak into the deepest recess lines, and it's going to kind of darken up that silver just a little bit without being uh, overpowering in any capacity. And we're going to do that in the boots. We're going to do that on the chest piece. And we're going to have a putty that actually probably is going to have more definition uh, than the ones we saw on the show. But as we mentioned, the show was from, what, 1993 the putty showed up? I think that was the year, the Z putties at least. Uh, and the, the budget was shoestring. I mean, I, I think we all remember the episode where Lord Zed's staff was repaired with, you know, masking tape and how awful the Green Ranger shields from the American footage looked. Um, but, you know, I think these guys are going to look a whole lot better for us. 
So now that that's all done, um, we've got very few details left. Uh, specifically one, we're going to do the eyes. We're going to pull out the Citadel base, Mephiston Red, and we're going to take a real thin paintbrush, and we're just going to we're going to get real close to this guy. We're just going to do a very, very careful single line of red over the eye here, and we're going to turn him around. We're going to do the other eye the same way. It's going to really add some pop. I mean, you can skip this if you want to, but it really adds some pop from a distance to a model that otherwise has basically the same colors throughout him. And last but not least, we're going to pull out the Citadel Abaddon Black, or Abaddon Black, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and we're going, to, we're going to paint the base. I water this down drastically. I dip a really, really watery paintbrush into this paint because I want this to flow incredibly. You can see on the film here just how wet this is. And that's that's exactly what I want for this. Because it's a large flat surface, I want to use a little less paint. I don't want it to be all globby. I'm just going to go ahead and just load this up. Uh, and I'm going to paint the top of the base, being real careful around the shoes here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the sides of the base. I'm not going to worry about the bottom. These models are not going to be upside down very often, um, but I want them to look pretty good from tabletop. So we're just going to continue going around the ring, and we are just about done the first Z putty. I think it's going to look pretty good. Um, and there's one problem, though. One Z putty is not a particularly impressive opponent. Fortunately, though, this goes so quickly, it'll take you no time at all to complete all of the Z putties for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Um, they individually, if you pull up really close, you can see the flaws. In some cases, you can see the brush strokes, but we are moving fairly quickly in some areas. We're not worried about that. The important thing is we have a great looking squad of Z putties. Like and subscribe if this video worked out for you. And thank you for joining us for Morphin Monday.